Hello, everyone. Twice a year, scientists from the Alaska Fisheries Science Center board the NOAA ship Oscar Dyson to conduct acoustic trawl surveys within the Gulf of Alaska or Bering Sea. The purpose of the survey is to estimate the abundance of Alaska pollock using acoustics and by catching small samples. Once the catch is hauled on board, it gets processed in the fish lab. Now, I will admit that the idea of getting elbow deep into fish wasn't my idea of a fun time at sea, but I have been pleasantly surprised by how much I have enjoyed working in the fish lab. The fish lab is a digitally enhanced workspace with touchscreen monitors, digital scales, and measuring devices all laid out in a very functional way. The catch is sent down a conveyor belt where the pollock gets sorted out from other sea creatures. It's a fun, interesting challenge to move the pollock down the line while picking out things, big and small, that don't belong. The catch is then weighed and put into a bin where the sex of each fish can be determined. This involves cutting them open to see their reproductive organs and then tossing them into the male or female bins so that they can be measured. This, by far, is my least favorite activity, the cutting open of the pollock. But that didn't stop me from slicing and dicing on the Dyson. It's good to overcome your fears, and I had plenty when it came to picking up fish and cutting them open. Reading from the fish lab, and what I gotta do is I have to slice the pollock to determine what sex it is. And this is how you do it. You take it, got your knife, and you slice down the side, and then you look inside, and that's a female right here. And then you take it and you toss it in the sheila. The next step in the process is to measure the length of each fish. The ichthy stick is a clever tool developed by the NOAA scientist to measure the pollock. Each fish is put on the board and is measured by tapping a magnetic finger pointer at the fork length. The otoliths, which are the inner ear bones, are taken and shipped to the NOAA Research Center and are used to determine the age of the pollock by counting the number of growth rings. The data collected by the scientists are important for the sustainability of the fishery and this process is supported by the fishing industry. I've had a great time learning about how we research Alaska pollock and it makes me want to learn more about the sustainability of the food I eat every day.